Hey folks, dude here. Well, not at the uh, big box store, but I'm at, uh, well, Home Depot. But this is something else you probably should take into account and you probably should plan for is a just-in-case. Uh, driving a vehicle, driving anything that's going to have um, pneumatic tires, which means you have air in there, which means when it leaks, you're screwed because then you have something that's square on the bottom as opposed to being round on the bottom and it won't roll any longer. Uh, you probably would want to have a couple things like this in your bug out mobile, also known as your Dodge. Uh, well, your get out of Dodge vehicle. <laughs> your, your good vehicle, your get out of Dodge vehicle. All right, basically what you need to have, of course, is, of course, you need to have a tire pump. Uh, this is basically about a $13 unit over here at a Home Depot. Of course, another one's attacking me. But basically, it's got a built-in tire gauge. It is a foot pump variety. You know, So basically, you can stand on this thing. It has a number of tips and other stupid stuff like that. But it is hell for stout. And you can really, really ride on it because you've got the foot things to hold it down with and uh, the tire gauge tell you when to stop pumping and it's going to hold you in good regard. Now, the other thing too you got to take into account is, of course, you're filling your tire up. If your tire's got a hole in it, you're basically pumping for no good reason. You want to have yourself some of this stuff. Basically, it's a uh, tire repair kit. Basically, what you have here is you have a tool to insert these rubber guys which fill the hole. You have a reamer which cleans out the hole, get the... Uh, but usually what you do is you take it and uh, stick this down here. You take it, you basically use the uh, the rough tool, you screw it down to basically get the steel uh, belts out of the way of the plug. You have the, the epoxy, cum, cement, whatever you wish to call it. You can use rubber cement in its place. It all is roughly about the same stuff. It's basically just rubber uh, in like a seriously nasty variety of acetone. It evaporates out, leaves rubber behind. It's really sticky. So then basically you take this guy, you stick it in this giant sewing needle head thing, and basically you plug it in the hole, you push it into, a, you know, about, probably about a half inch, quarter inch to stick it out the top. I'd say probably about a half inch or so. You push the tool in there, you give it a half turn, you disengage it from the rest of it, you pop it out of the hole. It leaves this thing folded over in like a V-shape, tucked into the hole. Now, the kicker on that one is, is basically you have a, a, a repair there, but the downside is the part that's sticking out of the tread could potentially get ripped out. So what you do is take a pair of dykes, uh, cutters and you snip off the excess even with the top of the tread and you basically then drive on uh, how permanent is that repair it's not exactly permanent but it will get you down the road the best way to fix these tires is dismount them uh, scuff up the inside put a patch on the inside of the hole or use what's known as a patch plug and those are cool man it's basically like the same thing as one of these guys with a wire leader you string it up through the hole, you pull it out the tread, and then you have one of these going through the hole and a pouch on the inside that plugs it all up and makes it fit and not leak any longer. If you want to do it right, what you got to do is you got to break it down. You're basically going to put it on the inside of the tire for your best repair. But this, this will get you down the road. And between this and this, you will be, well, saving your bacon for about 20 bucks. This kit it's like seven dollars you can find cheaper ones in auto parts stores you can find cheaper tire pumps in other places this is just me finding stuff and basically throwing it out here for the prepper community and definitely get your stuff together make sure you have these things handy as a just in case it doesn't take up a hell hell of a lot of room i mean you can stick this thing in the back of your vehicle and let it ride there until you do need it but it's a case of if you need it and you don't have it you're screwed but if you need it and you if you don't need it, you do have it, you're not screwed any worse than carrying around an extra three or four pounds worth of stuff in the back of your car, which means you're not bad off when you do need it. Uh, plan out. Make sure you got good stuff in your car for just in cases, and just in cases happen when you don't plan for them, you're screwed. Don't be screwed. Plan out. Make sure you got the stuff in your vehicle to save your bacon. So when you're running gunning in the zombie apocalypse, you don't look like those guys getting munched on and, uh, you know, <sighs> living dead and all the rest of those stupid shows, but playing out okay and of course if you have some guy chasing after you with a hockey mask and a machete you're screwed anyway but um you're dumb enough to dress like a 20 something and run around the woods with scary music playing you're gonna get eaten oh well um eat good keeping the 10 ring and it's always always on the ace podcast channel